Alright, so in this video, we're going to go through some examples of how to take derivatives using power rule when we have fractional or negative exponents. So since this involves exponents, I want to start by just going over some exponent reminders, some exponent rules that we're going to use today. So the first is that if we have 1 divided by x to the power of a, we can rewrite this as x to the negative a power. So we can take the x out of the denominator, write it in the numerator, but with a negative exponent. Then the second case that we often see is that we have the bth root of x to the a. So this can be written as x to the a over b. This allows us to take a radical and rewrite it as an exponent. So instead of having that radical with a bth root, we can rewrite it as x to the power of a divided by b. Okay, so just to practice these really quick, if we have 1 over x, we can rewrite it as x to the negative 1 power. If we have 3 over x squared, we can take that x squared, bring it up out of the fraction, and write it as 3x to the negative 2 power. Then if we have square root of x, we can rewrite this as x to the 1 half power. This is because when we write just square root and we don't write any of the numbers with it, there's really an, a 1 inside the radical and a 2 outside the radical. We often just don't write those for simplicity's sake. And we can do a similar example with if we have the third root of x squared, this can be rewritten as x to the 2 thirds power. Then lastly, why not put these two things together? If I have 5 over the square root of x, that's 5 over x to the 1 half power, and I can bring the x out of the denominator and write it as 5x to the negative 1 half. So let's bring these exponent reminders with us as we start doing some derivatives. So as we're working through these problems, there are four examples we're gonna do. I encourage that you pause the video whenever you wanna try it on your own. I'm not gonna put in prompts to do so, just because that'd be a lot. So you can just choose to pause when you'd like to try it before I do it. So for our first example, let's find the derivative with respect to x of 5 over x. We are going to rewrite this first before we take the derivative as 5 times x to the negative 1 power. And then just remember with the constant multiple rule, we can factor that 5 out and just look at the x to the negative 1. Then when we're actually going to find the derivative now using power rule, the negative 1 comes out front. Then we have x to the negative 1 minus 1. That power decreases by 1. And simplifying, I have negative 5x to the negative 2 power. Now, you could leave it here, but we tend to write things back in positive exponents, so I'm going to rewrite my final answer with the x squared in the denominator as a positive exponent. So, altogether I have that the derivative of 5 over x is negative 5 over x squared. Okay, let's do another example, this time with radicals. So let's say if f of x equals square root of x, find the derivative f prime of x. So before I can take the derivative, I need to rewrite this as x to some power. So I'm going to rewrite square root of x as x to the 1 half. Then I can go ahead and take the derivative. So f prime of x equals 1 half, that power comes out in front, times x to the 1 half minus 1. So that exponent decreases by 1. When I do that, I'm taking 1 half minus 1, that's like 2 over 2. So I'm left with negative 1 half in the exponent. So I'm at 1 half x to the negative 1 half. Then like in the last example, I just need to simplify so I don't have a negative exponent. So I'm going to bring it into the denominator and now I have one over two times the square root of x. So I can say the derivative of square root of x is one over two square root of x. All right, so those are our first two examples. Let's do two more. So let's say if g of x equals one over the fourth root of x, find g prime of x, find its derivative. Even though we're asked for g prime of x, I want to use the derivative with respect to x, the d dx notation. So I'm going to rewrite g prime of x as the derivative with respect to x of 1 over the fourth root of x. Then I can rewrite the fourth root of x as x to the 1 fourth. And lastly, I can bring it up to the numerator out of the denominator as a negative exponent. So x to the negative 1 fourth. So now we're ready to take the derivative using power rule. So the negative 1 fourth comes out front, and then we decrease the exponent by 1. So negative 1 fourth minus 1 is like subtracting 4 over 4, so I'm getting negative 5 fourths. Okay, so now we just need to simplify. I want to make the exponent positive by putting it in the denominator, so I have 1 over x to the 5 fourths. And I'm actually going to put this back in radical form. Like I said before, you don't really need to do these last two steps. You don't need to change it to positive exponents and to radicals. It's just something we usually do. I think it just helps us understand what's going on in the function a little better. 
like in this case that the function is undefined at x equals zero. Anyway, altogether, when I've rewritten the exponent as a radical, I have the fourth root of x to the fifth, and so I have that the derivative of one over the fourth root of x is negative one over four times the fourth root of x to the fifth. Let's do one more example before the end of this video. So if I have k of x equals negative one over two x to the seventh, let's find k prime of x, the derivative of k. So like the last example, I'm gonna rewrite this using the derivative with respect to x notation. So I'm taking the derivative of negative one over two times x to the seventh, and I need to rewrite this as x to some power. So I'm gonna think of that negative one half as being multiplied by the one over x to the seventh. Then I can factor the negative one half out and just work on the derivative. And specifically, we're going to take that one over x to the seventh and rewrite it as x to the negative seventh. Now we can use the power rule. So I have negative one half is my constant, then the negative seven from the exponent comes down out front and we decrease negative seven by one. So now I just need to simplify. Negative one half times negative seven is just seven over two, and then my exponent becomes negative eight. Then I just want to rewrite this using positive exponents. So I'm gonna rewrite x to the negative eight as one over x to the positive eighth. And I can rewrite this all together as one fraction as seven over two times x to the eighth. All right, so that is four examples of how to use fractional or negative exponents. Basically, we're just rewriting things so that we can apply power rule to them nicely in order to find their derivatives. Awesome, well, thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you in the next one.